Hi, hey, thanks for dropping by. This is Glenn, the webmaster of CayennePepper.info. Of all the videos that I've done uh, on this website, as well as articles that I've written for this site, as well as the web at large, I've never been more excited than I am now about what I'm going to share with you. In traditional Western medical clinical studies, uh, there is information showing, derived from these studies, that cayenne pepper actually kills cancer cells. Specifically, the capsaicin, which is in cayenne pepper, is what does it. Capsaicin is a metabolite compound. It's a secondary compound, in other words, that uh, has remarkable uh, healing properties and, or, or destructive properties to can cancerous cells. It, it destroys these cancerous cells in a process known as apoptosis, which basically means it causes the cells to commit suicide. And, but it does not harm the healthy cells around it, just the cancerous cells. So these studies have been proven in different parts of the world. There's been a study done in Japan, here in the United States, as well as in England, regarding the uh, remarkable uh, properties of capsaicin. Capsaicin is what makes cayenne pepper hot or other peppers. If you go to my uh, cayenne pepper heat units web page, you'll see a graph there that shows you the different levels of, of heat according to the Scoville rating unit system and that will hopefully give you some insight as to just how hot these different uh, peppers are. But that aside, uh, you'll see at the top capsaicin and diohydrocapsaicin is number one, not surprisingly. Anyway, capsaicin in, in an article uh, or in a study commissioned by the American Association for Cancer Research, Research excuse me, it said, and I'm going to read this, quote, cayenne pepper or capsaicin has a profound anti-proliferative effect on prostate cancer cells inducing the apoptosis of both androgen receptor positive and negative prostate cancer cell lines, period. Uh, and they also went on to say that in summary our data suggests that capsaicin or, or a related analog may have a role in the management of prostate cancer, close quote. Another study done by or discussed uh, as well by the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, uh, they, they showed that cancer or capsaicin has also the ability to cause apoptosis in pancreatic, uh, lung, as well as leukemic cancer cells. So this is very promising, needless to say. And uh, a study also done in Japan, which coincided with the uh, American Association for Cancer Research study, uh, basically confirmed their findings. I, on, that, on this particular page, I have for you uh, three hyperlinks uh, which have PDF files associate, associated with them. You can just download those at your convenience and I would encourage you to read it. Some of it's very technical, but uh, it's very helpful, I think, and it gives you a nonpartisan point of view as to the efficacy of capsaicin and, and, and by extension, cayenne pepper. The seeker's starting to get out, you know, about how remarkable cayenne pepper is. And uh, in a moment of clarity, uh, Western medical researchers actually, uh, I think somewhat reluctantly, said uh, about how beneficial and powerful cayenne pepper uh, and capsaicin uh, really is. They, with that said, I would not expect, and some people may say I'm a jaded soul, <laughs> but uh, you know, my allegiance is to the truth. I wouldn't expect any kind of cancer pill coming from uh, big pharma. Uh, the reason is because, and I wrote this on the web page, but uh, I put these videos together as an aside for people who like a show and tell versus just a straight analog presentation of text. That aside, uh, there's an old, uh, uh, can or, uh, excuse me, a, a, an old poker quote from uh, the movie Rounders. Uh, it's a poker, uh, it was uh, the character Matt Damon quoted this very famous poker player who said that you can shear sheep many times but you can only skin it once or kill it once so uh, you know the thing is they're not gonna have uh, a cancer pill it's too profitable cancer research literally is a multi-billion dollar a year industry they're not gonna come out with any kind of cancer pill they don't want to why would they it, it, it would cost them money you can I mean think about it uh, just with the heart disease element that cayenne pepper prevents uh, which is more expensive getting Lipitor or getting five ounces of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is, is remarkably inexpensive. It's very cheap. You can get it anywhere, any grocery store, and any health food store. And 
you know, they don't want people knowing about this. I'm, I'm convinced of that. They don't want people knowing about the health benefits of some medicinal herbs, especially herbs like cayenne pepper. But uh, I think Western medicine is a blessing. It's especially a blessing with the emergency medical care that, that can be given and with modern day anesthesia. So I'm not totally denigrating allopathic medicine here. I think it's a blessing in many ways, but I don't think it's the panacea to all of our societal health problems. The Western diet is a big contributor to that, but cayenne pepper in and of itself self heals cancer cells or it destroys cancer cells. It, it, it prevents heart disease. It heals hemorrhoids. It removes ulcers. It, uh, it can be beneficial in in removing uh, gout uh, and, and pl pleurisy and, and it, can, it, it helps prevent tooth decay and tooth rot, etc., etc. Uh, for more information on the full complete benefits, health benefits of cayenne pepper, please visit my cayenne, health benefits of cayenne peppers page. That will go through it point by point. That said, uh, I just don't think you'll ever see a cayenne pepper pill or a, rather a, a cancer curing pill because there's too much money to be made in it. Why? kill the goose when you can keep shearing it so to speak you know not to mix metaphors but why kill the sheep when you can keep shearing it and keep getting that money you know that's what they want and uh, so you'll never see a cancer curing pill uh, there's a cure for cancer I think in my opinion and I'm not a doctor there's my disclaimer but I think there's a cure for cancer right now it's called vegetables and it's called cayenne pepper if you continually take cayenne pepper in a systematized way drinking it regularly like I do or taking one pill a day and building up from there I think cayenne pepper as these Western medical studies prove has remarkable uh, medicinal properties and uh, while these studies that I'm referring to specifically refer to the health benefits or the the cancer uh, just cell destroying properties uh, there are other studies which have proven that cayenne has remarkable health uh, benefits which I've uh, enumerated throughout this website. Well, in closing, thanks for visiting. If you're on YouTube, I hope you'll visit my cayennepepper.info site um, and visit this uh, Can Cayenne Pepper Cure Cancer webpage as well as the other pages you'll see in this site. My disclaimer is that, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm simply conveying to you what I know works and my belief that cayenne pepper is a truly medicinal herb of, uh, of unequaled quality. It's a, uh, it's now proven by clinical studies to kill cancer cells. This is not my opinion. This is the opinion of medical researchers and, uh, and those files are available to you on that Can Cancer, Can Cayenne Pepper Cure Cancer webpage on my cayennepepper.info site. So whether you're seeing it on YouTube or here, I hope you'll download those files and read them for yourself. And so take, take your own, uh, do your own research and make your own opinion up. Well, thanks for watching. I'm sorry this video ran long, about eight minutes now. And uh, thanks for watching and take care.